I mean, workers ought to be able to choose whether or not to financially support a private organization. So the individual freedom component is reason number one, and that should be enough. But there's more. Uh, passing right to work, we believe, would be a tremendous boost to New Mexico's economy. Uh, right to work states are performing better economically than states that have forced unionism. I mean, the data is getting overwhelming to the point where union officials now must admit that uh, right to work states are doing better. They're, the fiscal condition of the states is better. The unemployment situation is better. The job creation situation is better. Right to work is freedom and jobs. We take issue with this because we see that on a, as an assault on our workers' rights, and uh, it's proven time and time again that these laws, uh, they destroy the base of the working class and they undermine uh, labor power in, in every state that they've been implemented in. So we're just letting them know that uh, if they're discussing that kind of uh, agenda here in New Mexico, we want to let them know that we're not okay with that. New Mexico is a, a pro-union state and we want to keep it that way. American Federation of Teachers, which is an AFL-CIO affiliate, put out a study back in 2002. They don't do it anymore because what they proved was what we've been saying all along, is that when you adjust wages for cost of living, you find that workers in right-to-work states are much better off than men and women who labor under forced unionism in those states. So if I'm an individual worker and I want to go work someplace, why shouldn't I have a right to work or join a labor union or not? You do have the right. If you're going to go uh, work at a place, if they if they uh, if they have a unionized place and you don't and and you don't want to join a union, you don't have to work there. You have the choice to go look for work where the workers have decided not to have unions, right? But any place that you have workers that have made that choice, and, and it's a democratic choice, once they've made that choice to have a union in there, I think people have every right to be able to uh, uh, say, I. I, I have the right to be able to make sure our union rights are, are maintained in this in this uh, job. And if you're going to uh, be working here, you know you, you it's important that you either uh, uh, comply with that. And if not, um, you know there's other places to go work that might that that may be better suited for you. The idea that uh, they're free, I mean, they're, they're free to the degree that uh, a small group, and the fact is the Heritage Foundation just put out a big study that said that only 7% of all the union members of America ever voted for the union that now represents them in the workplace. Because unions, once they're in, they never get out. So, yeah, that's just a flat-out misrepresentation on their side that they voted for this union security clause. Only 7% of the private sector workers in New Mexico voted for the contract that governs their relationship with their employer today. And you grew up in a union family. Absolutely. Uh, how does your family members think about that now that you're a big right to work guy? They're absolutely fine with it. In fact, they, they see the very simplicity of the issue. And uh, my brother um, it chooses not to be a member of the union uh, because of particular ideals that he in New has York State. in New York State, but he, ha he still has to pay for the privilege. Um, interestingly enough, he was he was voted by uh, his peers and by students as Teacher of the Year in uh, the county, in a, like a three-county area in western New York. Teacher of the Year by his students and by faculty and, and his peers, but yet if he didn't pay the American Federation of Teachers, he wouldn't be able to teach in that school system. So, you know, they believe they believe if, if unions are doing good things for them, they'll join and they'll associate, but if they're not, they shouldn't be forced to, and that's really the issue.